Hey everybody, it is me, Azalea, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Go ahead and subscribe now, because I know you're going to want more whatever I'm laying down. Uh, <laughs> it's always a little different. So, if you follow along, you know I had a really hard summer. I had to move. It's this whole big thing. And but, <laughs> that's an under understatement. It was this huge life rocking transformation um, out of nowhere. So, for some reason, it feels like really weird to say these words out loud. But, okay. about to do it. I'm about to say it out loud. I I don't know why I, I don't say it. Like I am a single mom. I never thought I'd be a single mom. I really never did. Like ever. Uh, think I would be one be a single mom never thought that uh, under any circumstances that my life has gone through I mean like there's been complications but I never thought it would be me just me so used to be married now I'm legally separated, if you know how that goes, divorce will go through, like, later, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, you're free now, and all the big decisions and compromises and forever afters have been decided and printed in paper, and I am a single mom. So, I, I, it's amazing. You know, I, I chronicled here on the channel that I went through a hard time with moving. And, um, boy, did I ever. Um, but I wasn't ready to say the word single mom. And I'm still not really going to go into... what happened with that but um it's been let's say august september october november we're into december so i guess i have been through that like i'm on my fifth month in single mom life it's different like, it's not as different as it would be for some people. Um, like, I've always been the primary caregiver. Um, so, that's, like, the same. It's kind of weird. I actually get more, like, time to myself now. Like, guilt-free. Not like I gotta hurry back because someone else is watching my baby. Like, guilt-free. Just, like, free time. Where I don't have to explain what I'm doing or why I'm doing it, I could just sit here and stare at the wall. Like, I get more me time as a single mom. Um, so, like, that's cool. Uh, like, so we're on the every other weekend. The kids go away. My son has always had a visitation situation with his father, who's not my husband or my ex-husband. Uh, so, he, at this point, is going every other weekend for a little visit and now my daughter also goes to see her dad every other weekend and then I'm just alone which is cool and like that's not weird for us at this point in time like with the whole attachment parenting thing like they're cool they're chilling within you know a weekend visit I have this like period of time to myself for the first time since I had kids. Uh, so 
so that's new. But it's kind of like a lot of pressure, because I'm kind of like, oh my gosh, I could do anything I want right now. I could take off to Richmond, I could go to Charlottesville, I could write the novel that I've been wanting to write, I could do this, I could do that. Um, but it's like there's too many choices, so then I do nothing. So, loneliness, like, is an issue. Um, like, even if you're not, like, really well connected to your spouse, and, like, they're maybe not on your level, like, y'all aren't really communicating well or that much, or they work a lot. Like, there's still that warm body in the house from time to time. And there are verbal exchanges. And so, it's like, I will sometimes go days now, days at a time, without talking to a grown-up human. And that's like... I am social. Like, if I am nothing else, I am social. Like, born. That's just my personality. That's, like, essence of who I am. So, that's, like, that. I, well, I'm thrilled. I'm not heartbroken or anything like that. I'm absolutely thrilled to be on my own with the kids. But, um, I think back before... I was married. I think back before I had kids, I had so many friends. And I would have these like very close relationships with my friends. And I'm so excited to somehow be married, killed all that. And uh, but I'm so excited to be able to really have friends again. Like I have friends. Y'all know you y'all know y'all my friends. Um uh, like real friends that I hang out with a lot, also internet friends, you know, but like that being a, like the freedom, so I'm excited, I hope to develop more of a social life in this free space, but like it's not right now, and while we're getting back on our feet, we are in my parents' little basement apartment that they kind of whipped together into an apartment situation for us real quick because we were in need. Uh, so I'm like here and um, just like don't want to hop into like, you know, another cheap apartment like somewhere, you know, I'm staying here for free. Um, but, like, I want us to move somewhere that we can stay when we do move. So, I'm saving for that. Um, and, you know, it's really not a situation where I have, like, like a babysitter. Like, that's, you know, it's just me and the kids down here. So, uh, I actually had to quit, I actually had to quit my um, job. I've been working, teaching yoga um, every Wednesday night for a little over a year and uh, I, I just don't have, I don't have a babysitter and I can't pay a babysitter. Like that, that cancels out that I'm going to work. Like. So, it's just like, had to fall by the wayside. Um, so, I mean, I am like, well taken care of, but by a, like, my standards, my standards. Like, I don't have grandiose standards. I have a place to live. I have food. I'm able to put away money um, for us to move out of the basement. I 
think sunlight's really an issue. Like, it's like a half-sunk basement, so there's, like, windows around part of it. I just, like... I, you know, even, you know, I've always, I've been out on my own, like, I got outside my first lease the, like, day after I turned 18. Uh, I'm 33 now, I've been out in the world for a while now, but, like, I've thought a lot lately because things like, you can't afford to make money because you can't afford the childcare. So you have to not make money. Like, it's just like a million different things. It's single mom life, that's what it is. Um, so I'm, I've been a stay at home mom and I've been financially supported for all this time. So I've been doing things like homeschool. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not going to be able to do that. And, like, right now, I do have a place to live. Um, and so, I'm, you know, it might work out in my future that I'm able to homeschool the kids all the way through. Maybe. I mean, who even knows what they're going to be like? And I've always wanted to be flexible to their needs. Yeah, my approach has changed. Um, like, it's extremely important to me that, like, Tom's kindergarten this year, it's extremely important to me the SOLs I hate the SOLs I loathe the SOLs I loathe the public school system but there's zero percent chance my children will be going to private school so if they have to go to school if I have to obtain full-time employment they need to be on those SO like we can't like zoom ahead in one area and neglect another area and then they go to school and they are you know the best in the class at one thing and like way below in the other thing and so like you know my kids do Waldorf co-op and Waldorf is something I've been inspired with we're eclectic homeschoolers um but I can't I can't Waldorf I can't Waldorf them with the reading you know, waiting until they're older to approach reading because they might have to jump into public school and they would have to be literate, so. It is what it is. And all you can do is your best. Just do your best every day and never give up. Just, you know, and be fluid, open to change. but. Also, things like not having enough money to really, like, go to yoga, like, and not having a babysitter to go to yoga, like, you know, that, that's another thing, like, money does make, can, is a ticket to health in a lot of ways, like, it's a ticket to health in a lot of ways. Like, how, like, juicing, green juice, I would love, I would be drinking so much more green juice, be, like, radiant than goddess over here. I can't afford it. I actually cut out, because, I mean, I could spend all my money on that, but right now I need to keep it put. Um, number one goal right now is just rehousing us. But, like, I gave up juicing for the month of December. Christmas presents for the babies so like it's just like this whole thing and there's like a lot of like single mom youtubers but I, look I said it it just flowed right out my mouth I'm getting more comfortable so I've said this many times before YouTubing is a dose of therapy for me it is talk therapy and even though you're not listening, like, right at this moment when I'm talking, I know there's so many people out there that are listening. I absolutely know y'all are going to write to me. Uh, so that's, it's like pen pals galore. But, uh, yeah. So, like, by no means do we have it bad. We are so well taken care of. Um, and we have glorious lives. Uh, the housing... It's a struggle. 
Um, my kids were fighting a whole bunch. They're really crammed in here. But there they were fighting and I was having a hard time and we somehow came out of that. And they're getting along better with each other and they're playing more with each other than they have been before. Um, I think because they're just getting used to being schmooshed together. And, uh, you know, it's also winter, so we're inside Morris. That's a struggle. Every year it's a struggle. So, this is my, like, coming out video. Like, coming out as a single mom. You know. Loneliness is a struggle. Finances. Fred. Fred the dog. Come make an appearance. Fred the dog, come on, come on, Fred. Fred the dog, everybody. Cute. So that's all, you guys. This is me, Acelia. Subscribe to the Way Crunchy YouTube channel. What a journey it's been here on YouTube. Y'all been seeing a lot of my life. I'll keep it up. So, subscribe. Love to you all.